Good morning. This is the Ramblings of an Invisible Mind podcast for Monday, October 19th, 2015. So it's Monday. What a weekend. I started painting the man cave and I surprised myself by I basically got all of the light color painting done, which is the majority of the room. I got some touch ups to do here or there. Uh, I got to get some white ceiling paint because I, I hit the ceiling a couple times. So I got some spots there to, uh, to cover over. But on the whole, I'm pretty happy with the job. Um, so I'm off Friday. So I'm thinking Friday morning I'm going to work on the dark color. I at least thought I'd be able to get it on the main walls. I'm not sure about the baseboards because all the baseboards are going to be the darker blue. But I can at least get that done. And then probably in one more session, uh, I'll be able to get all the trim work done and be done painting. So that'd be cool. Then I can start moving in, which is what I'm looking forward to. Um, Be kind of nice to be moved in before NaNoWriMo, but I don't really think that's going to happen. I don't really think that's going to happen. Given that it's the 19th today, it's, it's moving on too far. Uh... We had the Michigan-Michigan State game, which is very painful. The ending of which, which I'm not really going to talk about. Uh, Let's see, the Packers won yesterday. That was cool. It was an ugly game. It didn't really come off quite as smooth looking as I would have liked. but, But they got the W, which is kind of the important thing. That's kind of the important thing. You know, sitting there watching TV yesterday, watching football, I had an idea for for what to talk about today. And then, of course, and I didn't write it down and bad me. And I kind of lost it. I don't really, I don't know what it was I was thinking about. Um, If it was something to do with how stupid people were, that they were threatening the punter that basically cost the game for Michigan... I guess he's getting death threats on, I don't know if it's on Facebook or how. You know, death threats on Facebook, it would just be a stupid, stupid thing. Because there's no way you can do a death threat on Facebook anonymously. Your name is splashed all over it. Hello? And I'm sure you're breaking some, you know... You know, some law based on you know, murder threats over telegraphs from 1912 that's still in effect today that they, that they apply to the internet. So I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's, you know, bad <laughs> to do that. I'm not usually one to give death threats, period. Yeah. Much less to some college kid that just screwed up one play. Ay. Uh, I got a test on tomorrow for the accounting class. So I'm trying to do some studying. I did a little bit over the weekend. It only really showed me I need to do more. So I need to, uh, I'm going to spend some time today on that. Um, and then tomorrow, and then tomorrow evening is, is a late test. So. So, yeah, I'm just kind of over for a good week. I'm heading to work a little early. I gotta get gas. I got stuff to get done. Gotta get her done. You know, one of the things that's been kind of fun lately is this golden age of the solar clipper group that I'm in in Facebook because we uh, you know we we make comments that relate to the books and we share jokes that are that are from the books that if you didn't 
read the books, they wouldn't really mean anything to you. But uh, it's kind of fun. And Nathan's on there. Posts and stuff. And uh, he actually asked for a push. I guess it was yesterday. He asked for a push on Twitter for us to uh, share our, our sponge selfies. So I did that and on Twitter, you know, with a link to the book to try to drum up some sales because the sales are falling a bit. Uh, but I looked last night and he was still like number 362 overall, which ain't bad. I'd kill for that. I don't know what my Amazon rank is, but it's, it's toward the bottom on all two of my books that I have up. I don't have two, right? Yeah. Toward the bottom. So, I've been thinking about it. I'm, I might make, right now, borrowed time is 99 cents and stolen time is two ninety nine. dollars I've been, I've been thinking as I have been for a while, you know, maybe I should drop borrowed time to free and drop stolen time to 99 cents from two ninety nine. dollars Maybe I should do that whenever I get wayward time out. We will see. Uh, on an editing front, I got another chapter edited this morning. And that leaves me seven to go. So if I can continue to do at least one a morning, that means I should be done no later than like mid next week. Which would be awesome. That would be awesome. I'm continuing to get some ideas together for the nano book. The wife's kind of challenged me, how is this going to be different from other, you know, find yourselves back in time books. And I'm not totally sure it will be um, but I am trying to come up with some twists for this uh, in keeping with my original inspiration for the book um, you know so um, yeah I'm kind of I'm kind of uh, I'm getting some new thoughts about it. So I am looking forward to it. we got less than half a month now before we start NaNoWriMo. And I am looking forward to, to, to that occurrence. It should be great fun. But I don't know. I guess, I guess I'll, I'll probably let that go for today. So yeah, I guess this will be another Monday Thoughts episode. Because I don't, I don't really have a big topic I should have a big topic. I know there's a big topic out there. I'm not diving into the political crap. Because I don't care that much. It's kind of like our local elections. We've got local elections now for mayor. And all I know is that the uh, incumbent mayor, through some reason whatsoever, but he couldn't get his name on the ballot, so now he's doing a writing campaign to to get reelected. And there's two or three other names involved as well. I don't really have a good feel about any of them as far as what they stand for. So, yeah. I'd kind of like to to find out a little bit and then maybe actually go vote. Hey! Because uh, I do feel that's an important thing to do as a citizen of this country, of this town. But I'm kind of leery to just 
you know, vote for people based on what how pretty the sign is, you know, or 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 a couple little bullet points on a sign. So I don't. I'm not going to do in depth research, but you know, typically as you get closer to election times, there's some sort of little synopsis article that says, okay, here's this person and they believe in this and that and the other thing and that's usually kind of what I like to go by give me an idea of what they're about especially for local mayoral stuff it's not like there's going to be a debate there's television coverage and you you really get that much of a chance to to see him in action before uh, before the election Anyway, I guess I will uh, let this go for today. I'll be back tomorrow. I will do my damnedest to uh, to have an actual topic to meander about instead of just meandering about no topic. But I'll be talking to you then. So, be seeing you.